Frank Vogel got fired as expected in LA. Um, who do you think is going to be his replacement there? So there's a lot of talks. I always like Quinn Snyder. I've always loved Quinn Snyder, even in his days. Excellent in, coach. Yeah, when he was with Duke, we, we, he was a player for Duke, actually. They, they coached Missouri for a while, then came to the NBA. And I think Quinn Snyder will take that team because he, he's a no-nonsense coach. And that's the kind of coach that LeBron kind of needs is a no-nonsense coach. And and I also feel that they need to restructure a lot. We said in the previous show, um, they need to restructure top to bottom. It's not just Vogel's fault. It is not Vogel's fault. He was a scapegoat, in my opinion. He was a scapegoat. So they need to look at, like, how to make the team better. Because the Lakers are a team. It's not one person. When you had Magic, it was Magic's team. It was Magic's team, but they play like a team. And when it was Kobe and Shaq, yes, but it, it, they play like a team. So they can't have this like bickering and this and that and difference going that. No, you have to get somebody who can kind of steer the ship. I think Quinn Snyder can steer that ship. They, they need to get rid of Palinka. He, he's horrible. I mean, he, he's been there way too long as a GM. He's like, he's just like an Ernie. Ernie was there with the, with the Wizards for such a long time. He missed out on draft picks. He missed out on a lot of good trades, you know. And once you when, when they let him go get Tommy Shepard, Tommy Shepard kind of brought a little bit of a different attitude to the, to the game. And that's what the Lakers need is a different new, new blood. That's what they need. They need new blood in there to kind of steer this ship back to, back to their former glory. Yeah, as far as what they're going to do, uh, it's hard to say. I, I, I've heard Quinn Snyder thrown out there. Um, I don't. It, I can't even predict what they're going to do. I know they're going to get somebody established and somebody who's won championships or at least gone deep in the playoffs. Um, what I would like to see them do is my, my first choice for them, this is craziness, Coach K. Uh, I think he'd be great there. I think the LeBron can't walk all over a guy like that. I think he'd be great for them, and they'd have immediate success with a guy like Coach K there. Uh, choice two, a guy who hasn't necessarily had deep runs in the league uh, as far as playoff success or anything like that, but I think his offense would be perfect for their current roster. Like, no changes. If you brought this guy in, this guy would win with that team. And that's Mar uh, Mike D'Antoni, who is a, a, a current Nets assistant. If you get that running gun scheme with those guys, like that'd be insane to watch. Watching Westbrook run up and down the court in that offense, that'd be crazy. But the, the roster is going to be different. So maybe you don't even consider a guy like that. Um, hopefully he does get a job next season, though, because he what he's done, even with the Nets, he's had success in, in the league and in the regular season. He's a guy who deserves another shot. Um, but, yeah, as far as what they're actually going to do, I've heard Doc Rivers thrown out there. I don't mm -hmm. know. I'm not interested in that either. Mm -hmm. I, really, Coach K is what they should do. But, yeah, that's all. Do you that. think Coach K will even, like, like yeah. even like oh that's yeah money talks money does that's what talk. it's all about so. yeah i mean he coached duke for 20 some years man so i, I mean, honestly duke, wouldn't be surprised 40 years i think yeah like if, if this news came out i'd be the one person who would be surprised by it if he came mm. out and said i want to coach one more year at duke i wouldn't hmm. be shocked by that i wouldn't be shocked by it either because it's almost like tom brady waiting and be like it's like i'm coming back you guys yeah man you realize i'm just gonna be sitting at home looking at my wife all day <laughs> like yeah, <I> know. <laughs> for, for you and me that works because we've got you know we've got dimes to look at i don't know what his wife looks like i'm not hating i'm just saying he's been looking at her for like 60 years so it's like do you want to sit at home and look at the, look at your wife all day or do you want to get up like coach basketball so, um the last thing I wanted to touch on here in the NBA segment, just a quick, like, yes or no. Um, do you, will slash should the Wizards pursue a John Wall reunion? Just we can be quick with that one. Honest, honest answer. Yes. In my opinion, yes. Because the team is built now for, for him. The team is actually built for him. He never had this kind of talent. He never had he, he, Gortat couldn't do the things that Porzingis can do. He never had a Kuzma. He never had like he never had a KCP. Even though I, I dogged him all these times, he never had he he, did, he never had third and fourth secondary shoot. He he didn't have a Rui or did he have Rui? I don't I don't think he did. I think yeah. I don't think or or a Kisper or even Denny. I mean he has people. Teammates now, I mean, people around him, I, I should say teammates, but he has people now that, that can fit his style. And he doesn't have to do it all anymore. So I say yes, because I also have a soft spot. 
So I say yes. So that I think that's answering the should, but do you think they will? No, they wouldn't. They wouldn't entertain that because with what happened in the past and his um, his his antics in the clubs appear in DC, uh, that would that, that rubbed the organization the wrong way, even though he apologized. I mean, he's a great in the community, but you can't do the things that he did there and have that video shown again. And it's that's not, I don't think they will. I think my answers are the exact opposite. Um, will they? I think they actually might. Uh, because they, you can, uh, under the current salary structure, you can have three max player, three max contracts on a roster, mm -hmm. and he would be the third max deal. So I think they actually might. Uh, Bill, Bill came on and said he was actually open to it. John Wall was open to the re to the reunion. So knowing that it's out there in the universe that everybody nobody's closed off to it, I think they actually might explore it. Should they? Absolutely not. I, you know what you said as far as what they have as a roster and what he would bring. I don't disagree with any of that. I don't. I just don't trust him as a player anymore. Um, I don't trust his health, and with with the size of his contract, I can't. I can't justify it. I can't justify him playing half a season on that kind of deal. So. No, I'm not interested. Yeah, I mean, it's hard. It, it's, a, it's a decision, but hopefully, you know, we'll, we'll see what happens. I mean, Tommy Shepard has I done some. I think actually some, might. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Yeah, we can go and wrap up this segment here. Excellent show, Harish. I think we did a great job this week. I think we both brought the energy. Any last words yep. for us this week? As always, brother, nothing. Peace and love. Peace and love. Peace and love. Peace and love. Like, subscribe, follow, support. We're out for this week. Thanks, y'all, for staying with us. We are out. Peace.